Welcome to this divine, masculine, balancing and activation meditation. First of all, thank you. Thank you, my brother, for stepping up in this time of need. For being willing, ready and determined to accept everything that has been in order to move forwards from it to the world that we are co-creating in this moment of now. The Divine Masculine is needed more than ever to step up, to own all that has happened, all that he has done, all that has taken place and move forwards from it, providing structure, safety, security and support for his feminine counterpart. I would like to invite you to join me as we tune in to tune out and enjoy this adventure of life one breath at a time. My name is Kane Stromberg and it is my honour to walk beside you as you lead the way into a world, a brighter world for all, a world of true equality. Now let's start simply by connecting to the breath. As the breath is something that is always there. And that you experience simply through the acceptance of it. We can become mindful of the breath. Playful with the breath. Bringing it in and allowing it out with ease or restriction. It is up to you how you enjoy, how you experience the breath. A breath drawn in through the nose for the count of four. And exhaling through the mouth for the count of four. Brings a mental awareness to that which is always there. Just as the sun is always shining, just as the breath is always present, your connection to your true self, your unlimited self, your successful, victorious leader the king that you are, the king of your kingdom, as I am the king of mine. That aspect of yourself that has been lost, that has been buried beneath the rubble, as old events, as old situations, as past relationships come crumbling down, that past version of yourself seems lost, a distant memory. We are going to reconnect with that which you are, to unlock your divine masculine in completion, so that you can use the qualities and attributes that you have, that you possess, that you can reconnect to now, simply by taking this journey, going back to that moment that you decided you were unworthy, that you could not or would not ever be loved, that you did not deserve to be loved, that it was incapable of you, the you that is the egoic I, as opposed to the eternal aspect of I, 
that you felt unworthy. The sun is always shining. The breath is always there. You are worthy of receiving these just as you are worthy of receiving love. As you are the breath and you are the mighty sun itself. Go ahead and just refocus, reconnect back to that breath. And I'd like for you to try a simple visualization technique, incorporating the beautiful breath as it enters and exits. Noticing that throughout the breath, it is always there. On the inhale and the exhale, and even on that moment between, there is always breath present. There is always awareness, consciousness that creates all. And just as the mighty sun, whatever you focus your light of attention upon will grow within yourself and within the collective. I thank you for choosing to take this journey, for stepping up and deciding to do the somewhat difficult, scary, and dark inner work, so that together, my brother, we can lead humanity into a world of true equality. Now is the time, and the only time that we ever have is now. Go ahead and simply Take a breath and breathe in through your nose for the count of four. Hold at the top of the breath for the count of four. And breathe out through the mouth for the count of four. Holding on the bottom of the breath on the exhale for four. Before repeating that beautiful flow. In, breathing in that beautiful clean light, that pranic life force energy that is surging around your body, and breathing out everything and anything which no longer serves you. Holding on the exhale, releasing with ease all that tension, all that constriction, all that resistance. Just let it go, let it go and return to that beautiful state of flow. And I'd like for you now with the next breath to visualize and notice as you breathe from the belly, as you breathe from your abdomen, breathing deep deep down into your root chakra. And then take a small second breath as you raise that breath up through you, up into your heart center. And as you exhale, breathe it out. Forcefully releasing and allowing everything everything to exit you. Just let go and return to that state of flow. The Divine Masculine, his role is to provide safety security, structure, direction, to hold space 
to create a safe space, a sacred space for the feminine to flow within. A lion does not go around roaring at sheep. He does not even roar at the hyenas or the other lions. He sits carefree under the tree, knowing his worth, knowing his ability, and never needing to show this without cause. Let the wolves howl, let the hyenas chatter, you my friend, you are a king, a lion, and your roar will silence all others. Go ahead now, and whether you wish to do it verbally or internally, Take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, open your mouth, and allow for that lion's breath to exit, breathing in deep and forcefully, purposefully, into the very depths of your being, to the very depths of the earth herself. Breathe deeply now, breathing in. and breathing out, opening your mouth, letting your tongue come out with all of that breath, with all of that might, with all of that force. Again. from the pit of your belly. settle down as you breathe in and out, in and out, ensuring you are sat comfortably and allow as you listen to the music and the sound of my voice to drift deeply and safely into the most open, receptive and relaxed state of being that you have ever experienced. Knowing that you are grounded to the earth and that you are safe to take this journey with me now. This journey that is guided by your higher self, by source, by God, through me, to you. I would like for you to think and to ask that part of yourself that it is always there, that it is always a listening the subconscious mind, the part of yourself that you trust enough to go to sleep, knowing that when you awaken, your subconscious mind would have kept you alive, would have continued to breathe, continue to pump that blood around your body, to repair and regrow the cells in your very being, the part of yourself that walks without conscious awareness, that talks 
without realizing that you did, that you are, that you can actually be more mindful of the way you react. And that is what we will do in this moment of now. And when you get in a car and you start the engine, and you pull away and you start driving towards your destination, Sometimes we arrive without realizing how we got there. Just as when we chose to come to Earth to be part of this beautiful and magical experience, we chose to come here, forgetting how we arrived, not knowing where we are or where we are from. the answers, my brother, lie within. And I ask now that you let go of all barriers, all blockages, that we take down that wall of separation, of ego, misunderstanding or misinterpretation. I ask you one simple thing. What is the worst that could happen if you let me in? To show weakness is a sign of true strength. And to ask and accept assistance, guidance, is what will then allow you to go forward and provide this to those around you. By putting yourself first, you can then put others in that same place. Your worth is not defied by that which you do to others, by your success, your material ownership, by your partner, by your achievements, or even what you believe. Your worth is defined, defined and decided by one thing, my brother. The way you treat yourself, and the way you then treat the Divine Mother this beautiful planet Earth, with all of her children of multicolour. The way you treat yourself is the way you will then treat everyone else. The way you treat yourself is the way you will then treat everyone else. And the way you treat someone is the way they will treat you in return. I ask you one simple question. What's the worst thing that could happen if you let me in? If you let yourself in? If you let the angels, the guides, spirit, God, let God in and he will heal you from within. Let yourself in and you will heal yourself from within. Over to your left, I'd like for you to notice a door. Just go ahead and actually walk over to this door, noticing the shape, the material it is made from, 
the colour. If there are grains within the wood, if it is varnished, painted, if it is old or new, how tall it is. Just go ahead and notice all these qualities, knowing them to be true. Take a moment just to connect to this door and the realm that lies beyond it. The inner realm, the outer realm, and the realm that is all around. The higher realm, the lower realm, and everywhere to be found, as it is all one and the same. And it all lies within you, my friend, my brother, my fellow warrior, king amongst kings. And however this door opens, if it is a handle, a key, a knock, a special code, or if that opens simply because it senses your presence, what I'd like for you to do is pick up your sword of truth to your right and your shield of protection to your left, with a flashlight shining from your chest, a light that will cut through any layer of illusion or darkness and allow you to see that which lies beyond with crispness and clarity easily and effortlessly. Go ahead. And allow for this door to swing open. Take a deep breath, ground and focus, and step into the other side. Take a moment to just adjust to your new surroundings, to notice everything around you, everything that you have access to, the future, the past, the present, it all exists now and you have access to it all now. Just as you have access to the internet and you can ask any question and receive the answer. Within this area, within this realm, within your Akashic Records, you can ask any question from any space and time and receive the answer. And I would like for you to ask one simple question. When was the first time that you were separated from your true divinity? When was the first time that your divine masculine felt threatened, wounded, when he hid or ran away? When was the first time that you gave away your power to another? and made yourself believe the illusion that you are a victim. And in this area, within this record, the information that you require is easy and effortless to access. Ask your higher self, your subconscious mind, to show you that which you require, which you need to be shown, doing so now. Now you are safe. And that furthest memory, allow it to be seen and ask, 
ask that you are given all the learnings necessary to free yourself from this illusional perspective that you are anything less than the Divine King that you are. As a small child, we are dependent on those around us. This does not make you any less powerful, any less divine, or any less worthy of receiving the love that you are. Within the collective, Mankind has, for centuries, repressed and victimized his brothers and sisters. This is not your karma. This is not your fault. You are doing now exactly what is required to liberate yourself from past events, past karmic ties, and create a world of true equality for all. And I would like for you to look down and notice that there are two baskets. One labelled positivity, and one labelled negativity. And looking all around you, as the light begins to raise further within the area, within the room that you are in, notice that there are shelves all around. And on each shelf, there is information, packets, booklets, pamphlets, boxes, bags, all manner of things, and I would like for you to scan the room and allow vibrationally to determine between each object as a negative or positive with ease. And in a moment, simply through the will of your might, through the intention of creation, send all the positivity into the positive basket, and all the negativity into the negative one. This you can do with ease, my brother. This you will do right now. And as you reopen your eyes and focus your attention, your gaze down, down to your feet, feeling as though you are larger than life, grounded, secure, powerful, with each breath vibrating within your entire being, as that light, as that love shines and emanates from your chest, from your heart, out to the world around you, that which you are yourself, my brother, divine in all ways. And each of these baskets will be placed accordingly. With the basket of negativity, go ahead and attach a balloon, a hot air balloon above it and let go of it, release it, release it so that it can soar, ascend, float, raise, watch as it drifts all the way up, soaring higher and higher, all the way up towards the sun, and watch Listen, feel, and absorb the truth that you are, that you are divine and worthy of experiencing love, unconditional love, and so much more. 
Watch as that balloon floats into the sun and as the sun absorbs all of that energy, distributing it back into the universe, back into a neutral frequency of love with an acceptance and appreciation for the return of it. Just allow as all of that information settles down and filtrates through you, down into you. second basket and walk over to your right over to the river that is a short distance away on your right hand side just float majestically over to this river ready to place your basket of positivity upon it so that it can float as you co-create that river and the direction of its flow back towards the ocean, back home. As you let go and return to that beautiful state of flow. But before you do, I would like you to do one last thing for yourself to walk further upstream, back, back in time, back towards the past, towards the start, and find where that river is dammed, where it is blocked, where there is debris or rubbish that is restricting its flow. Whenever rubbish is thrown into a river, if the river holds on to it, it can become clogged, blocked up, restrictive in its nature of flow. And that negative pollutant can detrimentally affect the entire body of water and all life forms within it. If somebody throws rubbish into your river, except they know not what they do, and there is nothing personal against you, but they are in a place of pain and hurt themselves, and they are expelling this, trying to get rid of it, and throwing it over everyone else. Having discovered the block, the dam, the restrictive element and quality, go ahead and with your sword of truth, cut free all that ails you, all that restricts you, all that limits you, all that holds you back so that you can ascend, transcending all limitations of old and soaring, raising to new heights of existence, my brother, my king. I'm here to serve you, to stand beside you, to work with you. And I thank you for taking this journey, for doing the work and for stepping up in this time of need. And watch, just watch with wonderment as all of that pollutant floats downstream, 
from wherever, wherever and whenever this moment in time is, know that from that moment, from that past event, that past version of yourself all the way up until now, your entire timeline, your entire river is shifted. It is more full, more vibrant, more lifelike, more energized, more enriching and giving. As you gaze downstream, back towards now, you can see life thriving along the riverbanks as you overflow your energy, your love, your positivity to all those around you. Go ahead now and place that basket of positivity into the river and watch as it floats back downstream, changing all those events of old that felt heavy or restrictive or negative in any form, changing them, shining that light of positivity upon them so that you can see how they have helped you grow, how they have brought you learnings, and how by returning to that beautiful state of flow, it is all perfect and all divine, just as you are yourself. travel all the way back to this moment of now. Watching as you float down the river, downstream, only as quickly or as slowly as necessary to ensure that you fully integrate the truth of who you are, the worth that you are embodied and possess in all ways the love and the light that is within you and shines from you at all times. Go ahead and float downstream back to this moment of now. Hmm. Well done. Continue to let go. Remain in that beautiful state of flow. beautiful, sacred place at any time, for any purpose, and that you're always safe, supported, secure and guided by your higher self, by the universe itself. 
that which you are yourself. Go ahead and focus your attention, your awareness back to your physical body, back to this moment of now. And just go ahead and float all the way back down, all the way back down, deeper down still into your physical self, into this moment of now, and reconnecting in completion back to yourself, simply go ahead and take a moment to settle in. wiggle your toes and wiggle your nose to bring awareness to your hands and the energy within them. And before coming back round to full awareness, feeling energised, revitalised and activated in all ways, I invite you to just go ahead and simply ground yourself to this earthly plane and this present moment, the gift that we call now. Picture, just as a tree stood that mighty tree, picture as roots grow out of the soles of your feet deep into the earth, providing you safety, security, structure and nutrients, providing you the energy required so that you can sustain countless life forms through your existence. A tree does nothing other than be true to itself, being a tree, and in doing so, it provides safety, security, shelter, sustenance, warmth, and connection for countless life forms. You, my brother, simply need to be you. There is nobody else like you, and you are perfect just the way you are. A tree is able to withstand even the most severe storms in life. Not by remaining rigid and trying to battle the storm, but by bending to the will of the wind and allowing for change, for flow, for fluidity, allowing to always let go. When a leaf is blown off the tree, the tree lets it go with love, knowing that it will continue its journey elsewhere. The tree is not defined by anything, by anybody's opinion of it. It simply grows, and in doing so, is perfect in completion. bringing your awareness fully grounded and present back into the present moment, back into the gift that we call now, go ahead and return your focus of attention back to your physical body, back to your conscious awareness of self, feeling energized, revitalized, actualized and full of confidence and vitality to achieve that which you are here to achieve, to do that which you are here to do, knowing This is only ever you. Nobody else can be you. Nobody else can do what you are here to do. And it is time, my brother, my king of kings, to step up and to own that which you are and the reason that you are here. Go forth 
and create the most abundant, magical and marvellous experience possible for yourself and all those around you. Knowing that by lifting and inspiring yourself you can lift, elevate and inspire everyone else. I thank you, humbly and eternally, for who you are, for taking this journey with me and for everything that you do. The king in me bows to the king in you, my brother. I am proud of you, beyond measure, and know that together we are creating a world of true magic and wonderment for all. Now and forever, we are in this together. United we stand, and together, together we rise. Grand rising, you beautiful king, you divine soul. And I look forward to taking a further journey with you, all within divine timing. If you've enjoyed this journey, ensure that you share it with anybody it may assist. Subscribe to the channel and head over to our brother, our sister channel, Cosmic Surfer, Cosmic with a K, and check out all of the spiritually awakening, inspirational and empowerment content that we deliver weekly there. Once again, I thank you, my brother, from the bottom of my heart to yours. Namaste. I thank you for taking this life-changing journey with me. It is a true honour, gift and privilege to have been part of your journey. And I ask for your support in remaining part of mine by making sure that you click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and share this video with your friends and family. Be sure to tune in to tune out again next week with another powerfully beautiful and life-changing episode of Mainstream Meditation. Love and light and infinite blessings. And until next time, Namaste.